Hello all greetings, this is Gilles Mancy, I wanted to come and say hello, welcome to my channel. I'm here to, to speak about transcendental wisdom, to, 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 ex, to continue, I don't mean to be repetitive, I've, I've placed over a thousand videos where I speak about transcendental wisdom, and in essence, it is all about understanding the unity, understanding the love, understanding the completion of things. Yet, uh, this idea of, of wholeness is not uh, everything that is part of our mental process, kind of separate, makes what is wanted, and wanted, black, white, all those things are in contrast, which prevents us from feeling the oneness, so it is important to, to be as neutral as possible. Possible. And even when we walk on the street, we, we see all those people in the city, you know, it's like we do not know them, they're perfect strangers. And yet if we knew them, then we would, could discover that they, no matter how, how good or bad uh, is their character may be, they all have deep riches and treasure within themselves. We could be friends. We could. And so this love, understand that all those people are, are mostly uh, unenlightened, but they need to be, to be awakened. And so since you cannot uh, move... Uh, you cannot take every person individually and try to, to test his heart or whatever. You, you can send good good thoughts all around. Everybody that comes to you will receive these good thoughts. They don't know what it is, but but it will help them. It does assist to send to be send positive thoughts into the air. It is very important to to breathe, to send positive, loving thoughts to to assist, to help, to 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 support, to awaken. And so it is important to practice that. For in life, uh, there is only one life and all is one and everything else is an illusion. This is the, the nature of the illusion is to believe that we can be anything else but God studying himself or self. And so this, uh, this, this concept of um, du duality is manifested um, even in divinity as the divine masculine, the divine feminine. When we ascend as, 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 a, as a, in a gender, we usually continue to ascend all the way back to paradise within that gender. And so, so it's a divine masculine is just as complementary to the divine feminine as the divine feminine is complementary to the divine masculine. Um, I'm going to pull a few cards. Did I already pull cards? No, I didn't pull cards. Uh, the highest wisdom for us today is to understand the karma, to understand what is what is preventing us from experiencing joy, freedom, happiness. So as we as we remove those things, we become aware of that. We 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 accept our karma, yet we 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 make little adjustment that will liberate us progressively from. Um, we, we, we are able to, we have to move out of our comfort zone. We know we can go back to that comfort zone, but it's important to be able to step out of this comfort zone to learn whether it is in business, in, in seduction, in, or in spirituality. It is, there is always, uh, in order to grow, we need, um, no, or even in personal education, sometimes in order to, or sport even, in order to grow, we, we need to expand beyond our comfort zone. And yet, we want to maintain that comfort zone. It, essentially, we want to know that in the center, all is peaceful, all is centered, and we can always return to that inner center as we develop this connection to that, that realm of peace, so with this, this ocean of peace within ourselves. What we need to understand is the responsibility, what our responsibility, for we have many responsibilities. We came here to... to to bring the world into a paradise, to ascend the world, to prepare the new age. But, but it is not our responsibility to handle everything else. God is managing the process so we can let go on all those, those uh, responsibilities, knowing that we will be used. If, if we decide that if we came here to serve uh, the planet and humanity, we will be called to, you, to, 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 to come into play whenever God needs us. But we do, we do not want to carry the world on our shoulder. Atlas is doing that and is very, very jealous of other people that would try to, to take this role. It, that's why when we take too much responsibility, we feel oppressed, we feel... So we have to let go of all that. Uh, what we need to do is completion. We need to finish the cycle. We need to complete the, the, the we need to complete that which needs to be completed. It's the card number nine. It is uh, my, my personal life number. If you don't know your, your life number, you, you add the day of your birth, the, the month of your birth, and the, day, the, the year of your birth, and you reduce it to one number, it will come, it will give you the, the it will give you your, your life number. Mine is a nine, so it's a, 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 an incarnation that, com that creates a completion within myself. And the general message is trust. We have to trust. The more we trust, the more things can happen. The more we, we move into faith, we move into uh, the ability for the magical, the miracle. Although someday there is a there seems to be greater um, greater resistance some days than others. Some days we feel like, yeah, it's okay to let go, to, to be in the flow. And some days we feel like there is resistance within ourselves that prevents us from accepting the possibility that we can find this freedom now. And so, so we, we kind of fight against ourselves. The fight is part of the process. The, it's called the jihad, the, the finding the peace from here to here, to find this inner peace, the, the connection with God and spirit and, and the soul. And so... 
this is the true sense of meaning of this fight. The fight is not against anybody else. It's a fight against the lower self so that the divinity can re-emerge, can emerge as, as part of the divinity we already are. For, for there is no, uh, of course, it's a, divinity is a path of attainment, but, but the essence of who we are can never change if we are divine soul, eternal children of God, that if we're eternally that, we can never change, no matter what we believe when we come into this, this reality of matter. Uh, I'm going to pull a card from the Akash, it is the angels. So it's about understanding the angelic realm. It's about uh, it's it's a, the, the angelic realm is a realm of grace, of ease, of uh, intelligence, of, of completion, of, of of service, of of beauty. Uh, uh, this, this realm I have not really yet visited. This realm I've, I've had glimpse into it. I know that uh, um, the archangel Michael will be probably my guides when I shift that level, so that I can explore this whole universe of angelic and super angelic reality. Uh, yet we want to we want to communicate. We want to tune into. The the angel and receive their guidance for they always focusing the light when we receive the light we disperse it but angel receive the light and they focus it in their service so they are very powerful and eventually we are called to become a, you know, a physical angel in this realm so it is a very important mission the painting behind me is a, is a tribute to a mantra it's called namo amita fat it's in Vietnamese. It's a, it's a, it's a translation of a Sanskrit uh, mantra called Namo Amitabha, a, a reverential salutation to the Buddha of infinite light. Those are sounds that we, we call on, we awaken this divine spiritual nature as we repeat those mantras. And uh, here it's a painting from 1989. It's part of my first series of paintings. It was in November 1989. The Berlin Wall was falling down, and my first paintings came out at that time. And I was, I was living in Hollywood in Los Angeles. Um, and I have all kinds of paintings that I hope to go organize so that I can present from this period that are very, very powerful, some really large paintings. I wanted to express a little, um, a couple of, um, th there is a um, couple of ideas. One is them is from uh, uh, Asian, I believe. It's, it's called the, the, the Three Monkeys of Wisdom. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. If you can do that, you are home free, you know, not to see the darkness, not to see evil, not to see, because it is the differ the, the idea of differentiating, of separating from the dark from the light that creates this drama. For when we reunite dark and light, we have the yin and the yang that are perfectly uh, harmonized. And so those three, three, um, Three, uh, those three principles of wisdom to see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil because uh, darkness is part of the process of evolution on the earth. When the soul comes here, they are interested, they do not know darkness up there or evil or dark, whatever we can conceive as darkness or suffering up there. So they come from a world that is pure where nothing has been experienced outside of love. And then they come into this world, and so they are interested in experimenting with the dark. And so as they experiment with the dark, the dark reflects upon us, come to end, and, and so they, 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 we get involved in a cycle of karma, and then eventually the, we, we decided to swore we want to remove ourselves from karma, to turn towards the light so that it can return to the, to, to the, to, to the path of wisdom, to the source. And so for in many sense, uh, uh, but when somebody is not ready to see that, it means he's still involved in some lower lessons. We have to, to accept the fact that not everybody is on the same level. We live in an, an enlightened world, but we are here to, to, to help it to come into conclusion. There, will, there may be some great um, political shift that will be coming in the next few months. That, might, that may shake the world a little bit, but it will be for the highest good of all. It is something that's in the, in the works, and so we'll, uh, we'll discuss that when it comes. Uh, just wanted to say to, fi to, to, to finish, there is a, essentially two kinds of wisdom that are very uh, essential to know. The first is third dimensional wisdom. How do, how do things work um, with love, with business, with, uh, with society, with everything that works in society? And then there is transcendental wisdom that allows us to see from a higher perspective. The more transcendental wisdom we have, the more information we'll get in terms of terrestrial wisdom. Yet there are very enlightened gurus uh, that could not function in, a, in basic jobs in society. So, so everybody's got qualities, not every... Nobody is given all the qualities, but we all have given some qualities, some gifts, some talents. Some God has, has given all his children uh, with, with some gift, and those are the gifts we want to tune into and develop and unfold. So um, we'll um, so that we we can become one with our higher self and, and and feel fully empowered, fully at peace, and fully in the joy of creating and sharing that freedom and and, and freedom of expression and freedom of uh, of experience, even. Um, 
with those we meet so I can experience life through joy. <laughs> well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I'm going to finish with a song. It may be a song that's a bit nostalgic, but personally, it might be a message that came from my subconscious. That's This song came into my mind. It's about someone who dreams to to go live in Los Angeles, uh, in, uh, in California. And uh, in many sense, LA was very, very good to me. I went to the university, I opened my first gallery there, I, paint, I realized my first paintings there. Always led a really good life in LA. So in many sense, I feel like uh, uh, maybe it's a sign that my, my spirit says that I will be returning there sometimes. It is uh, be a great, great pleasure. The song goes like this. All the leaves are brown, the leaves are brown, and the sky is grey, and the sky is grey. I've been for a walk, been for a walk, on a winter's day, on a winter's day. I'll be safe and warm, be safe and warm, if I was in L.A., if I was in L.A. California dream, California dream, on such a winter's day. I stepped into a church, I passed along the way. Oh, I got down on my knees, got down on my knees, and I pretend to pray, I pretend to pray. You know the preacher likes the cold, preacher likes the cold. He knows I'm gonna stay, knows I'm gonna stay. California dream, California dream, on such a winter's day. Well, thank you very much. I wanted to finish in music. I hope you have been, you find this video interesting. I thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.